Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to use the Tile Inspector in Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. First off, you're going to want to open it, as expected, and basically what you're going to want to do after that is select something that you want to hide. Let's say I wanted to hide the statue. You'll see here that when I clicked on that tile, it brought up a list of all the objects that are on that tile. In this case, there's scenery, which is a unicorn statue, and a surface, which is, a, which is grass or rock. So what I want to do is add a new corrupted tile. It's called Unknown Type 32, and you press the down arrow. Now, you always, you, you never want to put this as the lowest possible surface. That breaks the game. It's there because it's useful in some scenarios, but for most people's cases, it's not. Um, what I so now because it's down here below the unicorn statue though. Next time that statue updates, it'll disappear. The peeps will still think it's there, but as far as the re the rendering in the game is concerned, it's not. Um, to get rid of it, you just hit the gar the garbage. And next time it updates, it goes back. You could also just move it back above the uh, above the statue. It's completely up to you. Um, let's say you wanted to hide part of a ride. Let's say that you doing this, and let's oops, that's not what I wanted. Let's say that you turn off clearance checks and you build that right through there. Now, but let's make it so that you don't need, so that it doesn't have any glitching when it's crossing over there. What you're, what you're going to want to do is open the tile inspector, select the first tile here, create your tile, move it below the track, and then just repeat that. New tile, below the track. 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 You see what I'm getting at here. Um... And just by doing that, now if I were to finish this, just go around here, set it to test mode, oops, what did I just do? Okay, I paused it. Now if I set it to test, As you can see, as you can see, what's happened is that the uh, the track is still there. It's just hidden. As far as the ride is concerned, the track is still there. What this will let you really do, though, is have, for example, your bus, train, tram, uh, go over a path without the path without the track glitching through as it passes over. This may, this lets you do really realistic looking bus stations. Uh, you can combine that with getting rid of the entrance. And then you could use the tile inspector to get rid of all of the path, all the entire track if you wanted. And it would look like peeps are just getting on and off buses so at your park. Um, you, could you could use that to achieve a helicopter effect with the ride that I don't appear to have. That has the spinning piece on top. If you built a track up in the air and then hid the track, it would look like they were flying around a park. Anyway, that's just a quick example of how to use the tile inspector. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching.